and welcome back to Plans on Planning. Here we are in my Gratitude Planner. And we are starting off this month with a clean slate. And I am super excited to add blessings on blessings on blessings into this planner. So, without further ado, let's get in it. Slide this to the side. Have my wonderful blank canvas to work with. And... I have some washi to work with. So, because as you know, June doesn't start until Friday, we have this whole area to like get crazy with. I don't know if that's really how we want to express it, but we do have this area to do what we want with. So, I've decided to do something that's really cute. So, I'm going to banner out my top with this, with these washi, and basically we're going to use this starry washi Sorry, the starry washi um, right across the top, you know, to make it look like it's actually hanging. And then we're going to use these really cute flower washi right under it. And then I have this washi, which I'm using to banner out everything else. So all my weeks. Get it going, live and in color. So to get this done, we need to get rid of this. I'm actually going to get rid of this dark line, just like a, just in case, on both sides. Alright, I probably shouldn't have done that over here, to be 100% honest, but whatever. Because you know what, I'll put this there. All right, so let's get started. Let's get going. All right, we're going to start with this washi. And as you can see, it actually goes a specific way. So we're going to honor that, so to speak. All righty. And to make it easier on myself, we're flipping. All right, so I'm using the... T I'm going to go kind of in the middle because as you can see this washi doesn't take up the whole area so I'm going to go in the middle of it and just lay it down actually what if I just go all the way across how risky is this that I'm doing just to make sure they like 100% line up This is super risky, what I just did, but sometimes you got to take a risk. All right, so now I know 100% that this will line up. I'm just going to cut it just to break it, and then I'm going to trim it. So now we cut the excess, cut the excess. And cut to the excess. Bam. So now everything is perfect. Ha 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 ha. Granted, I shouldn't have done that, but I just kind of want to see how it would turn out, to be very honest. All right, so oh, let's add some numbers in. I have my wonderful uh, fine liner brilliant colors. I'm going to do purple for my numbers. One, two, Works out perfectly. All right, now let's move on with our washi. So I have this washi here, and what I'm noticing is 
not only that it has tape on it, but usually when washi has tape on it like this, that means that it has a backing. I am not a huge fan of these types of washi, to be 100% honest. I find them to be a huge pain in the butt. What I've also realized is when they have a backing, they're very, very sheer. So I'm actually super glad that I cut out the washi. Actually, let's go all the way across. Just like we did the top. But I'm going to stop at the lines. I actually should. Okay, yeah. Anyway. All right, all right, all right. So I'm going all the way to the top. Here we go. Cutting it. And then just going one more again. And I'm putting it right under what's already there. There's nothing really to line up. As in like completing the picture type thing. And then this last one, I am going to let it overlap. So I'm going to go just above the numbers, but it is definitely going to overlap. There we go. So I have a super cute little area. There we go. All right, so this is why I'm not a fan of this washi. It's a complete and total mess, to be honest. But it's, they usually have like super cute designs and patterns and it's like really hard to be oh. mad at it. But it's a mess. All right. So what I'm going to do is to make it easier on myself for next time around, finding the beginning, I'm just going to tear some of it, which leaves a little bit of it without the paper. And bam. So this way I don't have to worry about trying to peel it off, you know, trying to peel the backing from the washi and all that crazy stuff. All right, so let me cut the excess, Bam. which I think is really cute. And then let's add our little banner washi, oh gosh, which does not have any backing and I'm super excited about. All right. So I'm going right above the numbers. I have to get my card. And because this doesn't fill in the whole area, I'm just going to go right on the line. Like I'm using it as my guide to come across. And then here we go up the side. And I'm taking it right to my loveliness. Bam. 
And I was thinking to go up this side too. Let's see if we have enough space. Yeah, we actually do. All right. I think I like it. I think I like it. Haha, uh -huh. it looks super cute. I like it. All right, now for this side, like I said, we're going to go right on here, which is basically covering up that top line. I don't know why this watch is giving me trouble. Why isn't it just breaking easily? I might have to bust out the scissors. across the bottom because I'm just putting it right on the line and we're going to go down each side using the actual line oh gosh as my guide Uh -huh. Alrighty. There we go. And here we have it. This is the start of our monthly spread for my gratitude planner. I think it's actually coming together pretty nicely. Alright, let's get some stickers going. Um, I'm using my stickers sticker book. And I have some flowers. I want to keep on this floral theme. So I have a bunch of like purple and pink flowers that I want to use. Just in this area here. And I think it will be super, super cute. kind of gonna put them in different places actually something a little bit smaller let's put something like right in here how about one down there nothing too outrageous and 
this one here. As well. Let's see if I can. Something with nice purple in it. This says think happy, be happy. I like that. And I want to put something here. What am I gonna find? Something positive, something positive. I'm just flipping through. Ooh, I'll make it happen. Oh, there we go. Make today great, fabulous, and a purple. Yes, that's basically what I was looking for. Something more so to match our color scheme than what we have going on. All right. I wish I had another little leaf. But I think I'm all out of florals. Darn it. Let me see if I have any florals in these watercolors. No florals. Where else? Any florals? No florals on the clothes. And what I'm basically doing is looking at the back of it and it tells me basically what's in my sticker book. No florals in either one of these two. So I am out of florals, unfortunately, because I would really have loved to put like a leaf in this area to break up the monotony of the colors. But it is what it is. Um. Let's go on it. Fabulous. Some hearts and stars. Well, some hearts. Yeah, okay, I have stars. And I have two gold stars. If I could get them, okay, out the book. Here we are with our monthly spread for the month of June for my gratitude planner. Um, as you know, I do like to keep it simple, but I did put some thought and effort into it this month to kind of theme it out as to what I wanted it to look like. And I know I wanted to go the floral route, as you can see. And we did something different with the banner and then blocking off the days that we weren't using because they belonged to um, last month May. I thank you guys so, so much for joining me um, today as I did my gratitude planner. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to drop a link uh, below, comment below in the comment box. I'll definitely get back to you. Or you can send me an email if you're much more comfortable with that. Um, any, any, any questions at all that come to mind, go ahead and ask. No matter how small, no matter how big, even if you think it's dumb, go ahead and ask me anyway because the only dumb question is the one that doesn't get asked. Ha ha. But while you're asking questions, don't forget to follow me on social media, uh, planned underscore on underscore planning, uh, definitely on Instagram. And then hit me up in my DM and let me know, hey, I saw your video and I was wondering blah, 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 blah. And I'd be like, oh my gosh, thank you for watching. Here's your answer to your question. And then we'll be planner buddies and life will be great. But until then, until next time, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.